name is Caitlin with West Palm Dogs, and today I'm here with King, and we're going to be working on his go to bed with a couple of action challenges. So, what I'm going to do is just warm King up, crossing a tree. King, go to bed. Yes. Now, we do have a couple of other distractions in the room. We got some dogs barking on the other side. We've got some dogs on the other side of the glass. There's a lot going on here, but the distraction that I want to focus on today is going to be dropping treats on the ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop treats on the ground and King cannot touch them. He has to stay right there. King, leave it. Ah! Yes. And so I'm going to do that a couple times. King. Oh. <laughs> Courtesy of King. <laughs> King, leave it. Yes. And you see, I'm rewarding King every time he leaves him alone, and I'm also reiterating that stay. Stay is one of the few commands that we're able to repeat. I'm just reiterating it with a flat palm. King, leave it. And yes. The reason why I vocally corrected him is because I could see King heading towards the tree, but he didn't, which is good. King, ah, uh -uh. stay. King, leave it. Yes. Gonna do one more. King, leave it. Yes. And that's really good from King. Now to release what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tap on the head, okay? And he's immediately gonna go after all that food. But that was really good from King. Really happy with the outcome of this practice session. And then of course the next step would be I wanna see if I can get him to either more distractions, even more distractions, possibly another dog, or even more duration, which is more time. Can I make him stay for longer and stare at those treats for longer? But for today's practice session, he's really good, very happy. Good job, King. Hey, come on. Come on, silly boy. And y'all.